Hi, this is uh, Shripriya Kumar here, and in a series of short videos, I'm trying to explain how Chat GPT can be used by professional accountants or just about anybody for that matter. So, what we're going to speak about today is uh, summarizing numerical data and charts. Uh, can Chat GPT do this? Yes, it can. And I'm going to sort of run through this with you with a practical illustration. So, what's the illustration that we have for the day? I had presented Chat GPT a set of shareholders with the entity names running from A to L. I had the data in an Excel table. So all I did was copy pasted that Excel table into Chat GPT. How do you log into Chat GPT? It's openai.com. So this is the query that I gave Chat GPT. I said the below is a list of shareholders and shares held by them. You don't have to worry because when you copy paste, it would just come in as a text. But later on, you'd also get the table of what you've copied and pasted. So I gave a list of shareholders A to L to ChatGPT. And what were the questions that I asked ChatGPT? Yeah. I asked ChatGPT, can you please provide me a percentage holding by each of them? And also let me know who the five shareholders, top five shareholders are. Can you give me the number of shares, shareholding percentage as a table? and mark the top five with an asterisk. Can you also present as a pie chart of the top five shareholders and the balance as others? So what did ChatGPT give me? It gave me a very nice table comprising the entity names, the number of shares and the percentage holdings. And it also marked the top five with an asterisk. Now you can deepen the query. You can say, mark me top seven. Then it'll revise the table and give it to you. The chart was presented like this, but I was not happy with the color. Why? Because I was not able to read the other's percentage and the gray and the black, and it was all overlapping. So I told ChatGPT, the content is not readable. Can you please yellow use yellow and orange for the chart? And this is what ChatGPT gave me. It gave me the shareholding percentage, top five and others, marked A, B, C, D, E and the others. So this is just one of the capabilities of ChatGPT and this is series three of the videos. We'll be posting more videos with each one use case and slowly we'll progress to the more advanced use cases on how to use ChatGPT better. I hope you like this and this is Shripriya Kumar signing off. Have a nice day.